So let me first start by saying that no one starts out um, planning on having an eating disorder. It's something that happens over time and usually starts with some form of dieting. They may start with just trying to decrease overall calories and they get more and more restrictive over time. They may begin to cut out certain kinds of food or categories of food that they find um, more frightening. So it may be something like trying to cut out carbohydrates or trying to cut out proteins, or it might be cutting out um, a specific food group or thinking about really restricting an entire category, maybe becoming vegetarian or becoming vegan when that's never been their way of eating. One thing to think about is that most diets talk about what you're not going to eat, what you're going to remove, and they don't pay attention to what you are eating. They, they typically are much more related to let's pull this out or let's pull that out, and that somehow um, in and of itself will make you healthier certain circumstances, that's true. In others, when it becomes more and more restrictive or someone decides, for instance, to not eat any fat or to work at not eating any fat, we know that those things are not healthy for us and begin to work more towards the eating disordered side. Parents may want to think about um, how, what kind of change is happening, talking with your child about why they're making the choices that they're making, trying to help them to walk through. Are they nervous about weight or size? Are they anxious about something like a family disease? Uh, is something stressful going on in their life? Are they being bullied at school? For more information about healthy eating behaviors, visit mottchildren.org.